Here's a few starters to get you going with Penultimate. Uh, Penultimate is a very simple note-taking application on the iPad, um, but I found that I use it in a, in a perhaps more visual way, and I wanted to show you a few little things to start you off. Um, so we'll open up a blank paper here, and if you want to, you can change it to graph paper if you wish, you can change it to lined paper, um, but being an art teacher, I, I tend to prefer the plain. So really, with your um, finger, uh, this is using my finger to write. Um, it can be a little bit messy, as you can see. You can change the pen colour. There's multiple colours that you can use. Not too many, so you get stuck on what to use. And you can also uh, enlarge the, the pen size um, if you want something to stand out a little bit better. Um, so I'm going to just pick uh, black and the, the medium sort of size pen and now I'm going to show you with um, my little stylus. And I find that the stylus um, for me works a lot better, I'm a lot, lot neater with it. Um, you know, really it's, it's a lot easier to work with. Um, and so that's really how simple and basic your first writing um, or note taking can be. Um, it doesn't zoom in, which for some people could be a bit of a problem. Uh, sometimes if you rest on the side, it can pick up. You can see where I'm leaning on the side here, uh, and even it flicks onto another paper. So you have to be a little bit careful. You can actually go to settings and change uh, the wrist position if you want to. But essentially, um, that's note-taking. Uh, you can go back if you, you don't like something. You can use the eraser and erase out little bits um, as you're going along. So that's that's basically as simple as it gets. But then what you can do is you can go to the top right hand corner. And what you'll see in the top right hand corner, um, let's just go back to the black pen, you'll see a little symbol that looks like um, a little mountain, um, like two little photographs. And this uh, symbol here will take you to um, a choice of either camera or photos. So if you choose the camera option, then what I can do uh, is, is take a, a picture and then put that photo directly into the, the middle of my page here. Um, I can move it about, make it smaller, um, twist it round, whatever I want to do, and then when I'm happy with it, leave it where it is. And then from there, I can then put arrows onto it, highlight certain things, tidy this mess, what's this going on here, um, etc. So it's really quite a useful function in the middle of a presentation um, if you want to record the slide that's being shown or something of that nature. And then the other option is that you can go to all your photos. So you can choose something from your photographs um, that you've already taken and then upload that if you wish um, directly onto the paper. So here's a photo I took of a, a student's drawing. Uh, make it a little bit smaller, twist it round, drop it down here, um, and then tap the screen to leave it put. If I decided I wanted to move it again, you just hold your finger onto the image, um, and what will happen, you'll see these, um, I'll just draw you a little example here, You'll see these little, um, you hold your finger onto it, you'll see these little circles that will appear in each of the corners, just like you would when you move um, an object. And then from there you can uh, drag and drop or move and twist until you're happy with it. Um, and so that's quite a useful function on it. Also down in the right hand corner, so about down here, you'll see um, six little boxes. Well, they don't look anything like this, actually, but um, six little boxes. And if you were to tap that, it, um, it'll end up with the um, sort of thumbnail view. So essentially what you'll see uh, is all the pages in a very small format. Um, and what's useful for that is that you can um, clearly go to the page that you want to go to, or you can scroll through them. Um, down at the bottom here, um, this, this area here, you'll see the pen tool, 
this is the eraser tool and then this is the, the cut if you want to cut out something and again move that about. If you swipe your finger this way um, you'll automatically go on to the next or the previous page uh, by scrolling through and scrolling back um, and that's quite a useful function if you're in the middle of something you just want to quickly scroll forward otherwise you can just tap um, this part in the bottom corner which is the page number and again just by tapping that it'll move forward to the next page um, so very very simple a couple of little tricks to get you going um, and uh, you know I hope you found that useful